Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. So as you've probably seen in the title, Houston, we have a problem. So I've told y'all before, if I ever have a problem with my Tundra or when I do have a problem with my Tundra, I'm gonna let you all know first. And that's what this video is about. We actually have a real problem. So what's ironic is just last Thursday, I posted a video talking about how JD Power had ranked Tundra number one in a dependability reliability study, a three year study. And, uh, and you know, I've always praised the Tundra for having, you know, great reliability. That's why I bought it. Luckily, my Tundra is not having a reliability issue. Now this is an issue that needs to be addressed. I am going to take it back to the dealer and have it fixed. Um, so let's get into what's doing. So, um, about six months or so after I bought the truck, I was driving down the road. I turned on the turn signal and the headlights flashed. It's like they went out just for a split second and came back on. And I thought, did I see that? Is my eyes playing tricks on me or something? Um, I wasn't sure cause I was in a, a big road. There was a lot of like street lights and stuff. And I thought maybe one of those just flashed and you know, just for a split second, maybe my mind was playing tricks on me or something like that. So I didn't really, you know, think a lot about it. Plus, um, I still had the factory headlights in it then. And I was thinking I'm fixing to change these lights out to LEDs. If it was a bulb issue or something, that will probably correct that. So I knew that was coming. So I didn't really, you know, give it much thought. Fast forward a, a month or so, I went ahead and got the LEDs and everything like that. Thank you, Doug, for sending me those. Um, put the LEDs in, was driving down the road again. They flashed again real fast. And I was like, same road too. I turned on the turn signal, flashed again. And uh, I was like, all these lights out here. I, I, it'd been so far in between them, you know, a couple months. Um, I was thinking, did I really see that? It, you know, I just, it was so fast and it flickered and I was like, did I see it? And I, and I was questioning myself cause it already happened once with the factory bulbs and I thought the LEDs would correct it if it did. And I guess it didn't. So fast forward again till today. I was driving to work today, fixing a turn on this road, flipped on the turn signal. The lights went out. The daytime running lights came on. My dash lit up like it was, you know, daytime. Uh, for those of you that don't have the automatic lights, when the automatic lights come on, your headlights come on, your dash kind of dims down so it's not as bright on you um, at night. And then when all that goes off, your dash uh, brightens back up. And that's what happened. It was like the truck sensed that the sun came out and brightened everything back up. So I was like, well, it didn't come back on like it normally does. Cause it's just, you know, it happened twice before. Like I said, and just that quick, it come right back on. I was like, all right. But luckily my daytime running lights, my truck is equipped with daytime running lights, luckily. And I could still see the road with the daytime running lights. So I got turned off. I started messing with the, the switch over here, the, the stalk where all your, um, all your light controls are and didn't do nothing. So what I did was I turned it from auto down to constant on and the lights immediately came back on. Worked perfectly after that, no problem at all. But when I had it in auto and every time it did it, it was in the auto setting. And every time it did it, I turned on the turn signal. So let me turn the camera around for those who, who don't know what I'm talking about here. And I'll show you how the stalk is made on a Tundra and um, kind of go through what I did to, to make them come back on. Okay, so here's the stalk that controls the lights. As you can see right here, it says off. Then you have like your running lights. Then you have like your constant on headlights. Then you have auto headlights. And then over here on this toggle right here, you have your um, fog lights. So I was in the auto light mode. That's where I always leave them because that's a big convenience to me. I hit my turn signal. And when I did, the lights went out. I flipped the turn signal up and down. I moved this, nothing happened. So I immediately flipped this back down to constant on. And as you can see, it lit up. It, light up, it lit up just like this for me as well. So now 
I'm just using the constant on all the time. <laughs> so, um, now I'm using constant all the time and I've not had an issue so far with just using constant. So that leads me to believe that the problem is actually in the switch. Um, I don't know what else it could be. At first, I thought it might be the little sensor in the dash and something was messing with it and every once in a while it'd flicker. And when it just flickered, I thought, well, maybe that sensor's screwing up or something. Maybe the, maybe the bright lights outside off of the, you know, the, the bright street lights was causing that to flicker and it was just flickering. Um, but when it happened today, I wasn't near any street lights. It was pitch black and there was nothing around, uh, street light wise to make it flicker. So I was like, that may not be it. Then when I started messing with the stalk, that led me to believe that it's in the switch. And the reason I say this is because when I flip it to auto and I turn on my turn signal, it's when it happens. Now the little sensor up here doesn't really have anything to do with your turn signals. Now I do want to state this. My turn signals are the only thing in this truck that I have not switched to LEDs. The reason I did that was because I didn't want any, you know, electrical problems. Because when you turn your turn signals into LEDs, they blink fast. They send you a little, I don't know what, little box. I'm not sure what it is. It's an electrical box, a little thing that you have to run through the line and it fools your computer into making that blink slower. And I didn't want to do that. I didn't want to fool my computer. I'd had issues before electrical problems and I was like, I'm not doing that. So every light I changed out to LED except the turn signals. So I don't think the turn signal actually has anything to do with it. I really believe it's in this stalk. And like I said, when you flip it on to the turn signal, that's when it did it. So I don't think it's actually, like I said, in the little sensor. And when I flipped it constant on, like I said before, it stays on. So I called Toyota today. And this irritated me a little bit. I'm not going to lie. I talked to the lady on the phone and I told her what my problem was. And she informed me, you know, bring it up here. We'll check it out. You're still under warranty. My truck has 31,000 miles on it. So I'm still under warranty. Um, I actually bought an extended warranty to like 75 or 80,000 miles. So I'm, I have a lot of warranty, a whole lot of warranty left. So the warranty is definitely not an issue. But here's what the problem was. I said, I will need a vehicle to drive because as most of you all know, I sold my Xterra. I don't have another vehicle right now. I've not bought the 03 Tundra that I did the video on the other day. Um, I've not purchased that yet. This may speed that process up a little bit though. Um, but so I need a vehicle and I told her, I said, look, I don't have a vehicle to drive. I'm going to need a vehicle. Um, while mine's in the shop, I don't know how long it'll take to hunt this down. Sometimes electrical gremlins take a long time to find. That's just the nature of the beast. And she informed me that I could get a rental vehicle. And I said, you're going to rent me a vehicle for a problem with my truck. That's a warranty issue. And she said, you know, once we figure out if it's really a warranty issue, then you won't have to pay for the vehicle. So what you can do is you can pick the vehicle up, you can drive it. If we deem it to be warranty, then you won't have to pay for that vehicle. If we deem it to be something other than warranty, then you would be required to pay for the days you had that vehicle. Now the vehicle is like $36 a day. So it's not a tremendous amount of money unless I had to keep it like a month. Wait, but the point is, I don't feel like, you know, I should even have to even think about paying for that vehicle. As much as I paid for this truck, I shouldn't even have to even, that shouldn't even be a thought. But they did say if it was warranty that I didn't have to pay for it. So we're going to go that route. I don't see how it could not be warranty being that it has to be in the switch. Um, it did it prior to me getting LEDs. It's done it after me getting LEDs. So it has to be something in the switch here. So it's going to be a warranty. So I'm really not worried about that. But I didn't even like that even being thought. Maybe that's just part of the process of them, you know, getting to the vehicle and they just have to tell you that up front just in case. And I, I guess I get that. But, um, I, as much as I paid for this truck, 
that shouldn't even be a an a, it shouldn't even be a thought process there. You know, they should immediately look at it and then deem what it is. But that's neither here nor there. We're going to take the truck in and get looked at. Now, I don't know what vehicle I'll get. Whatever it is, I'll probably review just because now I've got a different vehicle and I can do a review on it. So if they let me pick it, I'll try to pick something cool for you guys. If not, we'll review whatever they give me. But there again, you know, I told you all that you'd be the first to know if I had a an issue with my vehicle. The Tundra now has an issue. It's a real issue. The lights, like I said, are still working on constant on. So I do have a workaround, but I want everything in my truck to work and I want that to work because that is a convenience that I really like. I'll keep y'all posted on what they figure out. Um, whatever it is, I'll keep y'all posted on if they charge me for it and what they say about warranty. But for now, the Tundra's going in the shop. Please like, share, and subscribe. We'll see you next time.